Hello to my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Who? Royal Diamond, a.k.a. Mr. Nieves, coming back at you with another what? Phenomenal video. I know it's been a while. You know, I was handling my business, doing different things, and I haven't posted. Ooh, I don't know how long, but I just want to say thank you to all, all my fans or all my followers, subscribers, or people who just follow me or however you, whatever terminology you want to put it, but... I'm just here to talk about that. I'm, I don't have a title yet, but it's basically like continue to go on, basically. And continue to have faith, to continue to worship, to continue to look at the good, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what challenge. Because sometimes the next level of your greatness, of success, you will have to be prepped for that. You know what I'm saying? So God's still preparing you for greater things in your life. And sometimes we get caught up in our usual routine that we don't realize exactly how things might turn out or you know unfortunate circumstances or things that just kind of like dang that sucks but you know what i'm saying but that's why i wanted to make this video you know just coming back you know in the midst of the my absence i guess you could say i have you know i have a couple um topics to talk about you know god's still revealing things to me i'm still learning i'm still growing you know still keeping the faith even when it's hard so you know, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just here, you know, to just let you guys know that, you know, blessings come. Some come, some go. You know, just listen to always learn in the midst of everything. Regardless if something's not looking, it's not turning out the way you thought it originally it was supposed to be for you. And it's going, like, in a different direction. Then that's perfectly fine, you know. Because sometimes we don't understand God's plan, you know. Only He understands that. We just have to be... Just with an upbeat spirit, you know, with a with a good attitude and be like, I'm going to still worship you regardless. I thank you for the lessons. I thank you for the blessings. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to get caught up in kind of like in the emotion baggage that come from like disappointments, sets back, you know, things that you thought was going to work some way, you know. And it's for me, like I'm going through my own things, you know what I'm saying? But I always choose to worship God. You know, I choose to stay positive and optimistic because that's just how he taught me to be. That's how he made me to be. That's how you have to be in life if you want to achieve greater things in your life. You get what I'm saying? Because God sees all that. You know, if you if you can be in the midst of a storm and still be loving and still be forgiving and you can still worship and still do good and not let the enemy tempt you, not fall into like scandals, not like, you know, become someone you're not someone you're not meant to be or it's just who who is not you god sees all that he honors all that you know because we belong to him just because it's uncomfortable for us that doesn't mean it's not working out for our good amen you get what i'm saying because sometimes we don't realize like in the midst of in the midst of something we don't understand why it's happening right but once you come out of it and god takes you out of it and brings it to the next level thank you god then you will understand why you went through what you went through. But sometimes you have to just allow yourself to God talk to you and allow him just to bless you. You know, that could be in your finances. That could be in your healing. That could be in your joy. That could be in your laughter. That could be in just appreciating the little things that you have. You get what I'm saying? So, just like for me, I'm going through a little something. It's, I, I call them like um, stepping stones or like um, learning lessons and stuff like that. Because even going through something that makes me feel sad or disappointed or and it's like I worked so hard and you know it didn't turn out the way I thought or maybe make God is taking me in a different direction that I, I you know I don't see the next turn you know what I'm saying God does but I just have to trust him and follow him you get what I'm saying and still be joyful because at the end of the day like you choose how you want to feel you can either choose to be positive in the midst of everything or you can choose to be negative but being positive yields results you get what I'm saying God is faithful in all that he does he loves us. He will never leave you nor forsake you or fail you. You know, and I know it's probably hard for a lot of people. My little, my little sad. But just trust him. You know, what's, what's the, you're wasting time just harboring a whole bunch of emotions that is not for your benefit. You get what I'm saying? That's one. And um, two, you know, even like like your disappointments, like you can still run to him. He still loves you, cares for you, and he's still going to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? He, he, just, he loves you. And... There's always, like, excitement in the not knowing what's next. You get what I'm saying? For me, it's like, okay, if God closed this door, that just means he's going to open an even bigger and better door. God doesn't 
take away without giving something greater in return. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why you have to learn how to appreciate what you, that moment of time, you know, like appreciating that moment of time that you were doing something you thought was going to be longer, but it wasn't, you know, only God controls the, the length of things. You get what I'm saying? So if you was only meant to be somewhere for a certain, for a certain time frame for a couple of months, that's perfectly fine. You know, you understand that God places you like, I'm going to place you here for this time frame, but you don't know the time frame for whatever reason, for whatever blessing and lesson you make the most out of it. And then he will shut that door some way, somehow. So he can open the next door. So you can be like, okay, you done on this level. Now I'm taking you to the next level. You get what I'm saying? And from the transitioning from your old level to your new level, you know, there might be setbacks, challenges, things you have to grow out of, things you have to learn, things you have to let go, and things you just have to trust God with it. Because at the end of the day, if you're harboring or entertaining negativity, you can't see what God is trying to tell you. You can't see the blessing that's in front of you. Because now the enemy got you trapped. He got you confused. You, you can't think of it coming at you too fast. You know what I'm saying? You focus on the good. The reason why God gave us that in the front, so we don't keep looking backwards. You understand what I'm telling you? The past is the past. And for me, if it happened a day ago, a second ago, that's in the past. It's out of my mind. Like, I don't even remember it. Like, that's just, and people try to talk about certain things. And I'm just like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even remember. Like, I'm not dwelling on that. I'm focusing on my god you know what i'm saying i'm focusing on that breakthrough baby because it's coming you better get prepared for what god is about to do in your life and i don't care what anybody gotta say what any accusations or any kind of stumbling blocks or any kind of challenges or what people are trying to make it seem that it's not when you walk in your faith in god and you know your worth in god and god knows all and sees all you don't have to worry about the world baby they need to be worried about you and how you come in you get what I'm saying? Because they can't stop what God has ordained. And let me repeat that one more time. They cannot stop what God has ordained for you to have experience and live out. You understand what I'm telling you? They're going to be like, oh my God, how he did that? How did that happen? I was trying to throw a little hot, but God was like, wah we're right back at you. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep God's people down. I've been trying to let people know all day long. Listen, I love God. God loves me. I'm very honest and open, transparent with God about everything in my life. You understand what I'm telling you? So you can either ride the wave with God or you could be the one he pushes out of the way so his people can rise. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? Just like it talks about the Pharaoh, you know what I'm saying? I think it was what, Moses that set them free? Who parted the Red Seas? God did. Who got trapped in the water? The enemy. So, hmm, let's kind of figure this out. God is greater than absolutely everything. Greater than a job, greater than money, possession, gold, wealth, all of that. Just because you're not there yet doesn't mean you're not going to get there. So don't doubt what God is about to do, baby. Because we about to rise. You understand what I'm telling you? You can't keep God's people down. That's, you know, and this is what I'm here trying to tell you. So you can either live by God's grace and his miracles and his blessings, or you can live by your poor excuses. And those are two choices. And if you don't make a choice, you made a choice. You understand what I'm telling you? So I, I, I rejoice for the simple fact that regardless if it hurts, regardless if it's a challenge or whatever, it's just a blessing to learn. It's just, it's just a blessing to receive and it's a blessing to, to learn what you need to learn in order to progress to the next level because that's where God's going to take you. You understand what I'm telling you? There's, you have to understand that it's not about the physical things. It's about the internal things. That's what God is working on. Your personality, your mindset, the way you talk, walk. You know what I'm saying? The way you just, how you treat people, the things you entertain in your mind, the things you fill in your heart. You get what I'm saying? That's what he's working on. Because everything else physical will come. Because he's in control of that. You understand know what I'm telling you? But you have to be a what? A willing vessel. So he can do his what? Miracles inside of you. So you can yield what he already has for you. He has it for you. You just have to learn how to get it, maintain it, appreciate it, and use it as a blessing for his other people. But with that, I am done. I thank you. You already know I'm back on the scene quicker than ever, faster than better. Until my next one, peace.